What's up you guys? So today we are going to look at the Legion's Con Day 1 exclusive, the Uncown one. Wait, that's... The Unknown One. Uh. <laughs> What's up you guys? So today we are going to look at the Legion's Con Day 1 exclusive, the Unknown One. A date. Let's take a look at this bad boy, shall we? So here he is in the box, you guys. Freaking awesome. I love the packaging. Uh, these these are these big boxes, man. I, these are like the first couple I've got of these, and uh, that's really cool. Um, the artwork on this by Nate Barch. I'm sure I'm not saying that right. Uh, is awesome. I love this Legion's Con exclusive artwork. Uh, if nothing else, just the fact that we got this artwork. It's cool that we got the extra head and stuff, but man, this artwork is so good. Even with the uh, <laughs> the little uh, yeah, misspelling of unknown one on the back. But you know what? It's okay. It's awesome. That just adds to this figure. I love it so much. Let's, uh, let's read the bio, shall we? Since time immemorial, rumors have spread of a shadowy unknown figure appearing on bloody battlefields throughout Mythos. The accounts tell of a monstrous black-winged demon wielding dual glowing blades. These blades cut not the body, but rip out the souls of the unfortunate casualties already pounding at death's door. No faction is spared. Its true origin is unknown. Its true purpose is unknown. Its true name is unknown. History tomes record a lone victim discovered moments before dying. Paralyzed in fear, Blind eyes gazing into the eternal void while repeatedly whispering a single word. A death. A death. A death. Friggin' awesome. So, uh, let's open up this bad boy and check him out. So, uh, before we open this guy up and check him out, I also want to say I got my Legion's Con shirt with uh, the unknown one on it, a death. A big thank you to Retro Rags Limited for putting those up on your shop because I missed out on them at this con and uh, ended up with both of them actually. So yeah, very, very cool shirts. I highly recommend Retro Rags Limited, you guys. They don't just have Mythic Legion shirts, they have Masters of the Universe and tons of other pop culture things, like just tons of different stuff. Go check them out, Retro Rags Limited. So with that being said, let's open him up and check him out. So there he is out of the box, the unknown one. Death. Freaking awesome. Uh, the armor, like, is so freaking cool. Look at the red in it. Like, you can, you can see the red tinge to his armor there. It's so freaking cool. The wings, man, with the veins and stuff, they're all ratted up. Uh, they're articulated. They actually can, uh, they can go back like that and go forward. They're hard to get in there. They are definitely hard to get in there. They come out like this, hang on. Yeah, there you go. You can get them to come out like this. Yeah, there we go. Look at them all spanned out. Freaking great, man. That is such an awesome figure. I love the horns. Um, it also came with these bat wings that go on the side. I've seen a lot of people use the bat wings. I like the horns. I'll probably put them down. For some reason, I like the horns down in front of their face. I don't know why. I just dig it that way. Uh, the Legion's Con exclusive head that came with it is the skull. Man, that is so sick. Like, it is articulated. Very awesome. We got the neck piece as well. I like the skull head. I really dig this. This uh, was definitely, definitely worth going to the Legion's Con for, in my opinion. Uh, this figure right here was like the main reason I wanted to go. Uh, when I first seen him, I was like, oh my god, I need that figure. And uh, he also came with this right here. They were handing them out separate. A lot of people lost theirs and they were all over the ground. I wish I would have got one or two sitting on the ground because um, a lot of people were looking for them and I would love to have been able to help people out, you know. But yeah, I haven't got it put on yet, but I do want to put that on him. It goes around his waist, underneath. Looks really cool. I've seen pictures of it. Uh, he also comes with two of these right here. Uh, this is like purplish and this is like a goldish color right here and he's got the flesh strips uh, tied it on I love these weapons you can see the reflection there such an awesome awesome freaking piece man 
the details and stuff. The guy who actually uh, came up with this figure, he made it from a bunch of parts and it's been sitting there for a while. They just didn't know when to put it out and they figured that uh, Legion's Con would be a great time to put it out and I could not agree more. Yeah, this is probably how I'll have him displayed with the horns like this or the other way around, maybe aimed up a little bit more. I think it's really cool. And this right here is probably how I'll have him displayed. The horns like tusks kind of almost, like big Diablo looking thing. Freaking awesome. Uh, this and then a combination of, I like the skull head on him. I'll probably put the skeleton head on him, the skull on him as well. And then there he is displayed with the uh, the, skele the skull. I really like that skull. Also, a thing about this is the neck piece on this is for a dwarf. So it sits a little bit lower. They wanted it more like a menacing kind of look. And if you can notice the red eyes, such a small touch, but God, it makes it so much more intimidating. I don't know why. So great. Well guys, that has been my Mythic Legions review of the unknown one, a daze. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you would like to further support this channel and trips like to Legions Con, you can uh, click in on some of the links down below and help fuel the Monster Mobile. Again, big shout out to all the guys at Four Horsemen Studios for putting on Legions Con and it was a great weekend. Day one was amazing. If you guys haven't checked that video out, you can uh, click right here and watch that. So guys, as always, thank you for taking a little bit of your mythic time to watch a little bit of our mythic lives. And until next time, you guys, onward and upward.